Katie, you've spent some time in the UK. Did you use uh, Virgin Atlantic Airlines, by the way? I'm kidding. Uh, let me fly something past you. How safe would you feel getting on a commercial jet that could take you from New York to London in 80 minutes? Do I still get my meal? Let's just say yes. Then yes. Okay, fine. I'm cool with that. All right. Hold on to your britches because a Spanish designer has dreamt up a new design for a nuclear-powered passenger airline, nuclear, that could travel three times the speed of sound. The Hyper Sting theoretically could hold 170 passengers reaching Mach 3.5 or speeds of nearly 2,500 miles per hour, twice that of the Concorde. Uh, The supersonic plane would be 328 feet long, feature a wingspan of 169 feet and could fly 65,000 feet above the ground. The designer says in order for the hyper sting to go from dream to reality, there must still be advancements in cold fusion reactor technology. Earliest prediction for a space plane is around 2030. Speaking of aviation innovation, last week we discussed a story about a Swedish company that sold a fleet of electric commercial airplanes to Air Canada. But now I want to introduce you to a nine passenger electric private plane that just completed its first successful test flight. Take a look. The airline, I mean, sorry, that's uh, electric aircraft. It was designed and built by the startup company Eviation, starts with the E, in an attempt to show the potential for an electric commercial commuter aircraft that can fly a few hundred miles at an altitude of roughly 15,000 feet. I don't know, the company's owner says this is the first radical change in aerospace propulsion technology since we went from the Super Constellation to the 707, from the piston engine to the jet engine, and now to the electric motor. At the end of the day, even the most advanced electric planes only have a 250 mile range, so developing better batteries is certainly the future of the industry. Katie, what do you think of flying on a smaller electric plane versus a commercial one? I don't know. All Would you? Of, all, all, Should of you? That, all of the plane talk you just gave, that engineering talk, it, it's Greek to me. I. It's Greek. Well, finally, let's wrap things up with everyone's favorite satire site, the Babylon Bee. Here are this week's top five Babylon Bee headlines. Well, we picked our favorite bee headlines to see which ones should be crowned queen of the hive. We start with Biden vows next hurricane to hit U.S. will be named after a woman of color. I got to say right now, score. That's like that's like a (laughs) hundred. That's like a hundred on a scale of ten. Next, hero DeSantis flies Hurricane Ian (laughs) to Martha's Vineyard. Next, authorities warn that Hurricane could cause Florida to have as many water and power shortages as California. And Russian spy awarded Presidential Medal of Freedom for being the first openly transgender traitor to the country. And finally, frightening new White House Halloween decorations to include lifelike old zombie. Katie, your top pick of the week. And again, there are several. There are some good ones. Really and I think that's ones. an underreported story right now is the traitor story because he is a traitor and people are like, oh, it's okay because he's trans, so we can't really report on it. So that's the actual like pick in terms of it. people look into that. But my fun pick is the Ron DeSantis. That's just too, oh, that's too good. Flying Hurricane Ian. Oh, dear. <laughs> they were all, man. Yeah. A lot of really good ones. Well, that's going to wrap up this segment. More to come next time. Katie. <laughs>